today I have a really cool project that I just made and I'm really excited to show it off and I'm going to explain how it's made and I'm going to kind of show the process on a different uh, jar that I have prepared but this is just a spaghetti jar and um, I did kind of like a Tiffany lamp design on here and um, all using our, um, our new line of stained glass paints so the faux stained glass paints the faux show um, and so uh, first you would uh, you take a sharpie and you would just do your design on here which is what I did uh, just kind of figured out put some circles put some leaf shapes this is just supposed to look like just kind of a random thing almost re reminded me of a peacock design or something in some areas like right here or uh, where's the other one right here kind of like peacock feathers or something but whatever you know look at some Tiffany lamps and get some ideas um, a lot of them are really intricate but you can just do some simple basic shapes like these some petals and leaves and things like that different size circles and I just use the puffy paint of course to create a little wall with this stuff and then I let it dry uh, I, I came back to it another day so that's where we're at with this one right here um, so this is just an olive jar um, you know that some jars the labels wash off really easily and then you're lucky you can you can just wash them off rinse them out and then use them for crafts and I thought this was a really cool thing to do with it because you can turn it into a little lamp centerpiece and I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a second but then I, I just went and prepared another one and it's a little hard to tell right now because you're seeing through it so you're seeing both sides but again I use the uh, the sharpie first to figure out what I'm doing and then went over the sharpie and by the way you can always wipe up sharpie with a little bit of um, hand sanitizer on a paper towel if you don't like where you placed it so that's good to know and then went over it with the puffy paint again and then came back to it this stuff is really thick and that's the point of it is it creates a little wall so that our colors don't spread and touch each other um and then i just did like some leaf designs and then i'm thinking of these as kind of like well they look like daisies but kind of like sunflowers that's the color i'm going for so i pulled out some colors that i'll be using so i've got a nice uh, glitter yellow here i've got um this one is a uh, sharp cheddar so a bit of a sunflower yellow. Uh, I've got a dark green, a glitter green, and uh, Merlot. So that'll be for the center. I know I'm not going with a brown center, but I just wanted to try that color out. Um, and so I'll be using these in a bit of a different way today. Usually I talk about using the little nozzle and squeezing them on. Like, you know, they're supposed to be traditionally squeeze paint. So you would just squeeze them on the area where you're trying to... Uh, flood with color but in this case because we're not on a flat surface we're on something that's round and something that's going to be you know then placed standing upright and so your paint could potentially drip so what we're going to be doing is just using a paintbrush and dabbing it on which is a little bit of a different style but that's how we get this nice thin look on here and um, you'll see me using uh, a blow dryer on this one. So I've got this, uh, this heat tool, uh, embossing tool, whatever you call these. Um, I have one of these that I'll be using on the different sections. So as I get one area covered uh, with a brush, then I'll just go around and just get cut pretty close to it to dry it up. So that way uh, it's, it's just enough where you can tap on it, give it a little tap, tap, tap test and make sure that it's not, it's not it's gonna be tacky, but it's not gonna be dripping. It's not gonna be moving around when you set it down to dry because there's no way to flatten this out because it's on a round jar. So you'll see me doing that with the dryer. And then I want to show at the, um, at the, I think at the very end, I think I'll wait and show what this looks like with fairy lights inside because it's really cool. So I'll save that for the very end and I'll get started right now. I'm just going to put a little bit of color. You could actually, if you wanted to just open these up and dip directly from these, um, you could do that. But I'm just going to um, pour a little bit into the, the palette that I have prepared and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so now I have all my colors in the palette ready to go. So um, we're just going to be using this uh, glitter yellow, the sharp cheddar, the Merlot pinch me and then glitter green over here it's a little bit of a lighter color and because when you are dabbing it on and I'll just get started uh, because when you're dabbing it on it doesn't allow you to put it on very thick um, we'll just have to do a few coats of it and that's why it's nice to have uh, the dryer handy and uh, also it's nice to have such thick lines done with our uh, puffy paint um, this stuff right here because now you're seeing um, if you go outside the lines it's not a big deal it's kind of like it reminds me of those uh, remember those uh fuzzy posters they used to do so you can't really go out the lines you just kind of gives you a little area to color uh, and then you can't go outside the lines because everywhere else it's black and it's fuzzy so you can't color on that area anyways so it kind of makes it a little easier so of course you could make it sheer if you want you don't have to make this super uh you know thick and all these different coats but uh I would do a few coats just because I want to be able to see some different uh, I want to see some different shades here. I want to be able to see some are a little more yellow than others. I just like that color to look nice and bright. 
So here we go, just tapping it on. If you're going from a light color to a dark color, you don't really have to wash your brush that well. Um, you don't want to let your brush sit for too long with this stuff on there because it will start to dry up pretty quick. So that's about as much as I'll put on there of the yellow for right now. Just wipe my brush off. And since I'm going to a darker color, I'm going to get some Merlot for the center. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, I like the way that color looks. On this, you can't even really appreciate because you don't have the lights in there, but it is already starting to look really cool. So now I'm just going to throw the brush into the water and show how I do this with the dryer. So just flip it on. And then I'm just going to hit it right here on the area where I did the, the flower, kind of keeping it upright. So I'm not letting this hang down. I'm not holding it upside down. It's already starting to look really cool. But I'm just going to do this for a second until uh, the whole area is just enough where I can tap it. And it's not going to drip or go anywhere. All right, so that wasn't even a minute. That was 30 seconds maybe of... Um, blowing this dry just with uh, really closely hitting it with the dryer and um, the whole jar is going to get a little a little hot just because it's it's glass so you know it's going to hold the heat but it's not going to be too hot where you can't touch it so just a little warm um, and I would just kind of be careful when you're holding it you know don't put your fingers right under the area where you're blowing it dry because that's going to get very toasty right there. Okay, and then I'm just going to go and I'll let you see what I'm doing here um, before I kind of speed through the rest of it, but I'm just going to go and tap on another coat of this yellow. The reason why I have two yellows is because I'm going to be going uh, some, maybe every other, I've got four flowers on here, uh, maybe every other flower will be um, a darker yellow just so that you can see the difference as I go around. I'll just, just be tapping that on in the same fashion, just like this. Um, and you don't have to use a very small brush or anything, just something maybe like a rough brush, maybe one of your beat up brushes, that's perfectly fine. Also, all of these paints are available for sale on our website, missneascrafts.com. Uh, there's a promo code to save 20% if you wanna try these out. Uh, they're a lot of fun. And they, uh, there's just the, the sheerness when they dry, that whole uh, sheer look gives it a really cool stained glass effect. And uh, this, this whole uh, new design that I'm trying on here with the tapping also gives it that little bit of a ripply texture and just sort of, sort of really makes it look like a stained glass window. Um, I will put the link to the website as well as the promo code as a reminder in the description of the video so you can check that out if you want. And I will speed along through the rest of this and then we'll see what it looks like in the end. Okay, so it's all done. It probably took me less than 30 minutes. Really, most of the time that was spent doing that was just holding the dryer in place. Um, so that way, you know, nothing rolled or or started to drip uh, before I could turn it around and do the next side. Um, you do have to kind of keep it elevated because even though it's dry, sometimes it'll get a little tacky, especially when you heat it up. So, you know, right now it'll feel a little, a little bit tacky until it cools. So you don't want to set it down on anything, especially nothing on paper or anything like that because then the paper could stick to it while it's hot. But, you know, you just keep it elevated, keep your hand inside or just rest it on the edge of the jar. And this actually looks really cool spinning around. You can see the 360 view. Uh, but this looks really cool without the lights. I'm going to talk about lights for a second and then I'm going to show um, first how it looks in the uh, the first jar the original one I just love it with the Merlot center it looks really cool because it's a little a little bit different a dark center like a sunflower yes but it's not the brown it's a little bit of a different fun color we put in there this one here I really like this Merlot oh and by the way the paints come in a you can get them in a two ounce or you can get them in the one ounce size uh, and there's multi packs available on the website as well you can save 20% on any of them I've used the promo code, uh, so I don't put that in the description, but here's the original one, so I just wanna show how this looks. So I've got three different kinds of fairy lights here. So this is my favorite one, and I'll show that at the end. Uh, this one, they're all fairly cheap. This one came from the dollar store. What I don't like about this one is, uh, well, the, the lights are slightly orangey. I think it's because it came with the Halloween thing. This is like a part of their Halloween display, the Dollar Tree. So it's a little orangey, if you can kind of tell. Um, and you had to put your own batteries in it. So yeah, it was a dollar, so that's pretty cool. But uh, then you had to put your own batteries. And so, you know, dollar store batteries are only so great. And you end up spending a lot if you have to go and buy the Energizer or whatever, because batteries are so expensive. Uh, so this one is okay, but not the best. Also found that uh, they, they don't last very long. If you leave them on for a few hours, they st sort of start to go dim. This is a neat one because I pulled out some other bottles. Um, it's really easy to just find jars and things that have a label that you can wash off. So this was, I think this was, a, I don't know, like a pimentos or something or capers. I don't know, but a cute little jar. 
Um, so, you know, something like this would make a nice little fairy light because when you cram all those lights into it, it really, it's got less area for the lights to go so that it really brightens up. And so that's cool. Um, and then there's other little, you know, maybe you get a fancy juice drink or something like that from the, from the grocery store. So a cool little bottle like that. That's a nice one. Um, but the top of it's a little narrow, it's a little harder. Um, so when it comes to narrower, uh, tops, nozzles on your bottles, uh, and wine bottles like this one, uh, then you'd use something like this, which is just looks like a little artificial cork. So it actually is meant to, and in the wine bottle, it could rest right in the top, you know, as the cork, and then these could go inside. And I'll turn it on. They make a whole bunch of these multi packs, and you can get them on Amazon in their colors. And they'll have on the package a little dot of color so you know what color you're getting. The colors are really cool, but I prefer white, especially if I'm putting it in something like this, because I want to see the colors that are inside the jar or on the outside of the jar. I don't want to see this color. But, you know, it's a pretty purple if you're going for something like that. Maybe cool for like a Halloween decoration or something. But anyway, it's kind of neat that they make it so that in a smaller, you know, this could go right into this could just sit at the bottom. Uh, and then the last one is my favorite. And you can, I get these. I can also put a link to these fairy lights. Uh, the same ones that I like to buy on Amazon. Because I get, it's, it's a 12 pack for $12, I think. So it's a pretty good deal. And it comes with the batteries. They're actually the small little round batteries that look like nickels. And actually these are pretty expensive if you're just going for the batteries. Just to buy the batteries alone are a little expensive. So it's a pretty good deal just considering the fact that you actually get uh, a battery. And so, um, anyway, these look really nice, and they're actual white lights. So I'll just cram it in there so you can kind of see how that looks. And this is easy to hide. It's just such a small little thing. But look how awesome that is. This could be a night light. This could just be a little centerpiece. And uh, real quick, I'm going to show it in the other one that we just did. It's a smaller jar, so they should look cooler because you have less area. Oh, yeah. That's really awesome. Look at that. This looks so cool on a table somewhere. Just a neat little decoration. Super easy, super fun. And these fairy lights, you know, definitely recommend them because they last a long time and they're really bright and look at that white look in there that way you can see all the colors.